Welcome back. And we're going to continue extruding the hand. So let's go into the side view. And the part that we want to uh, take out or not select, hit the F key. And we're going to do these two guys here. So hold the Control key down and deselect those two. Okay. The rest of them we want to select. Okay, so the top view, I'm going to turn back on my reference, control E and W, move that back. I'm going to go ahead and select vertex mode. There we go, and just kind of move these around. There we go, like that. Okay, so with these um, bottom ones here, I'm going to go ahead and move those forward. So I'm going to turn off my reference, and I'm going to move that so it fits right next to that one. And then I'm going to kind of move the rest of these forward kind of create a nice soft curve along here. Like that. There we go. And then along the top view, I'm going to go ahead and um, select these guys right here top view here and let's go ahead and hit the Q key and just select these guys right here uh, for now and we're going to go open up our hand again and we're going to extrude that out so we're going to extrude this out so control E and we'll go ahead and extrude that out like that Okay, I'm going to right click over this, go to vertex mode, and just like this, this guy right here, and just going to move that around. I'm going to select this guy, move this around, like that. Okay. And from the top or the perspective view, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. So I'm going to select this guy right here, right on the end here, and hold the V key down and snap it like that. And from this viewpoint right here, I'm going to select, I'm going to go ahead and turn this hand off a minute, marquee select that, and go to Edit Mesh, Merge the Center. So that is our hand so far. Alright, so we are going to continue. We got that selected. We're going to continue moving that forward on top. Just kind of uh, modeling the hand on top there. And go ahead and go ahead and click on the hand again. Okay. And I'm, I'm just ignoring the bottom right now. Um, I think I will probably select that edge and click on this and go all the way around the hand up to this point. So I'm going to go ahead and select this up to this point right here. So those edges are selected. I'm going to go ahead and control E and move that. There we go. And I'm going to marquee select these and move those in. Okay, like that. There we go. And let's take a look at the bottom here. That looks pretty good. 
All right, so let's do the same thing one more time. Select the edge. Looks like we already had the edge selected. And go ahead and control E and move. There we go. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and select the vertices and just kind of place those in. Kind of hard to tell where this one goes. We'll keep it like that. Okay. All right. So now's a good time to start shaping the hand, um, and we need to attach this piece right here to the thumb. So we need to kind of shape the hand a little bit more that shapes with the thumb, and how that all works together. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to go um, basically turn that off, and I'm going to start shaping how I think I want this to, to all fit together. So I'm going to move this up and this up to kind of accommodate the thumb. And I'll move this down and this down to accommodate the thumb. I'm going to move this up and this down. And we're going to move the center, all these vertices here, up from this point. I'm going to hit the Q key. And we're just kind of shaping this hand. I'm holding the shift key down and shaping that hand right here and I'm gonna go underneath and do the same thing now I don't mind it being a little bit but I'm gonna move this select these guys here I don't mind it a little bit going in a little bit you're gonna need to have that but we're gonna take these actually I'm gonna go ahead and scale that up a little bit like that and once that's scaled up, I'm going to go ahead and deselect these. I'm going to hit the Q key and hold down the Control key and deselect those. There we go. And then the top here, that's just kind of flat now. I'm going to move that up just a smidgen. And you can see how that makes a difference here. I'm going to deselect this guy like that. Move that up deselect that, move that up so we're going to have it's going to be a little more round there and I'm going to do that as I go back giving it some more shape there we go and I'm going to do the same thing with these poly, or these vertices okay I'm going to select Q key and select these guys down make sure I don't select anything else and I'm going to move those up like that and move these up like that and probably that's good right there with that okay so you can see what we've got so I'm just kind of shaping the vertices around giving it more shape Moving this up a little bit more. Hand looks kind of flat still, so I'm just moving things around a little bit. You can start seeing that we need to pull that down. So I'm going to pull that one down quite a bit, and this one down quite a bit, and this one down quite a bit. We're trying to get this a little bit thicker right here. There we go. And how we place those. Kind of give it a nice right here and this kind of goes in a little bit. This one will go down quite a bit. 
but we want that to go in. This one will go down, and this one will go down a little bit like that. I'm going to hit the 3 key. You can see that it's starting to look a little bit better. Okay, that looks a lot nicer. Okay, I'm going to hit the 1 key again on that one. Alright, so you can see that we've got a good start to the thumb and how, how we're going to attach it. Okay. So it's important that we kind of find those vertices we want to attach. So I'm going to go in here and select the thumb. I think it's a good time that we whoops, push that back. Okay. Push the thumb back into place. There we go. Get it close. Again, we don't want it intersecting. And we're just going to start merging these vertices together. Alright, so let's kind of get it placed close to the thumb. And um, you're not going to see this. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these two attached. It's really important that we get these two attached. So that will work. So I'm going to select these two together and make sure you're in object mode so you can go up there to the top right under the main menu bar and click on this guy and right click over here and make sure selection mode is on you can shift select the thumb and then you need to combine them there we go with that done let's go ahead and go to um, delete by type history okay and we're gonna go ahead and merge these two vertices together so um, I'm going to select this vertex here, okay, and let's let's go ahead and select the inside one. Let's move it to the thumb. Okay, let's see how that goes. Hold the V key down and move it to the thumb. Okay. All right. So this one doesn't match at all. So I'm going to move that one over, and I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to move him up to here. So hold the V key down and snap that to there. Okay. And on the bottom, we're going to snap this one to this one. There we go. And so we're starting get, to get that look. It's not exactly what we want, but it's getting close. So let's go ahead and go to the top view and merge these guys together. So it's kind of rotating around, so I'm only selecting those. Nothing else. Okay, and I'm going to hold down the space bar and go to uh, Edit Mesh and Merge the Center. And then this one right here, let's marquee select that one. Okay, and we're going to merge that one together. There we go. And then the very bottom one here, we'll merge that one together. Just make sure I'm not selecting anything else but those. And merge those. Okay, so so basically we connected this point, this point, and this point, and we merged it to the hand. So this one at the top, this one on the side, and this one on the bottom. Okay? And so we're run out of time for this video, and then we'll come back and we'll get everything else now figured out and put together from this point.